Hello and welcome to 4376 Lynchmere Drive, Clayton, Ohio. Here we're standing in front of this. Um, first thing to point out, this is a Northmont Schools located close to everything, close to shops, close to eateries. Fantastic location with no immediate rear neighbors on this home, very private backyard. This is a close to a 2,000 square foot house with a finished basement that is not included in that. As you can see, we have a two car garage and guys, the inside has basically been completely remodeled. This home was built, I believe in the eighties and it's been completely, for the most part, remodeled cosmetically since then. I'm excited to show it to you. Next, before we go inside, I wanna show you the backyard, very private and we basically have a newer deck and it's huge on the back here too. Next, I'll meet you around back. All right, so here we just came out to the backyard and here's what I was talking about. We have woods back here. So we have no immediate rear neighbors. That shed that you see right there, I do not believe that is on this property. But we have a huge deck here. Here's our new air conditioner right there. That's brand new to the house. I have a two tier deck. We have a little section right here with two stairs going off of either side down there. And then the stairs from this upper deck going to the lower deck. Uh, patio, uh, not patio, excuse me, playhouse over there. So good size backyard and look at the size of this deck. All of these deck boards are brand new. The handrail and the spindles are brand new as well. And there's an old track for an awning. There is no current awning for the property, but the hardware and the track is there if you wanted to add to it. So just a great backyard can definitely see sitting back not right now with the snow on the ground, but in the spring and summer watching the kids play in the backyard or the dog run around, this would be a fantastic setting. Now, let's go check out the first floor. All right, so here, just walk through the front door. We're greeted by a good sized living room here. We have crown molding in here, brand new carpet, updated windows, updated flooring here. This is the waterproof, life-proof flooring. Can't see it, but that little doorknob Right there is a coat closet. Staircase leading to the second floor. And this flooring leads us all the way into the kitchen. Same flooring in the kitchen, but we're gonna go this way. This, to my left here, these two windows overlook the front of the home. See the crown molding here. This leads us right into the dining room. We have a new chandelier here. Brand new carpet. Now this is the backyard. We've already seen that, but this window overlooks the backyard here. And then from the dining room, of course, will lead us right into the kitchen. And we have a lot of updates in here. Here's that same waterproof flooring that's in here. That door takes us to the basement. Phenomenal basement too. Can put a pool table, can make a wet bar. That door right there takes us to the garage. We have a Whirlpool Gold, gold excuse me, Gold Series refrigerator. Freezer in the door. I'm not sure if the water's hooked up on this or not, but it does have it in the door if you wanted to add it, if it's not. Whirlpool range and LG microwave. Both of those are brand new. I literally just took the plastic off of them right before taking the pictures and video. And that actually still has the plastic on the handle. This is brand new granite, gorgeous granite here. And then don't forget our Whirlpool dishwasher. I almost forgot about that. But check out the size of this sink. Huge sink here, brand new faucet overlooks the backyard in the back deck tile backsplash i believe that is marble uh, don't quote me on that but it looks like marble backsplash on this coming through here again basement garage two-car garage on this this is a pantry closet here so you can put some storage in there. And quite honestly, this kitchen, there's enough room here where you have plenty of room to add stuff over here if you want to, whether it be pantry cabinets, uh, but kind of set up as a breakfast area right now. Half bathroom here. We have new vanity, new mirror, new lights, new toilet. Very nice bathroom here. And guys, we have two full bathrooms and one half bathroom on this. Family room, so we have a living room and family room on the first floor, plus the finished basement. So tons of entertaining in this home. The waterproof flooring there going out to the back door, and both of these windows overlook the new back deck. 
Well, the deck's not new. The deck boards are new. And the handrail's new. So you got living room, family room, and rec room. Before we go look at the basement, let's go check out the second floor. All right, so here it just came to the top of the stairs. To my left, we have three bedrooms over here, and they're all good-sized bedrooms. Linen closet there, guest bathroom, and then the owner's suite over here to the right. And we'll check that out last. We're going to save the best for last. So bathroom here, we have new grouted tile in here. Uh, this looks like a marble or quartz, probably quartz countertop vanity here. It's like new mirror, new light, very clean bathroom. And then that was the linen closet. And then bedroom, call this bedroom number one. I might have the measurements different online, but this is in the front middle of the home right here. All the windows are updated. Bedroom number two, call this on the front left. And again, this is a good sized room here. Double mirrored sliding closet right there. All of the carpet is brand new. Fresh coat of paint, light fixtures are updated. And one thing I forgot to point out, we do have a whole house fan here. If you've never seen one of those or used one of those, you can turn that on and it sucks all the hot air out of the upstairs so you don't have to use your air conditioning as much. Very, very nice. Now this is not the owner suite. Look at the size of this bedroom. This is on the back left and overlooks the backyard. Just gorgeous and huge size on this one. And coming across the hallway here, this is the owner suite. This runs the whole length, that's the front of the house right there. That runs the whole length from the front all the way to the back. And we'll back up here, so this is very big space here. There's a makeup area right here. That's a granite countertop right there. Same granite that is in the kitchen. The mirror and the spot for a stool. Walk-in closet. We've got his and her side. Two shelves there. And then a shelf over there. And then a remodeled master suite here. That looks like a quartz top. That's all molded in. The sink is molded in to the, it may not be quartz. I don't know. It's a solid surface countertop. Let's just go with that. Gray vanity and the shower and the commode, I believe are brand new as well. And we have the grouted flooring in here. And we also have kind of the rustic wood look mirror on this as well. So four bedrooms, two bathrooms on the second floor. And guys, pretty much just about everything up here has been remodeled or touched in one form or another. Next, let's go check out the basement. All right, so here it just came down the stairs and we're greeted by a huge finished basement here. All kinds of possibilities of things you can do. This is all drywall, baseboard, carpet. So this is completely finished off from head to toe. Even the ceiling's drywall in here. So this is brand new carpet. There used to be a pool table that sat right here. We we're gonna leave it, but the pool table was pretty beat up, so we took it out of here. But perfect spot to put a pool table. There was already one there. This would be another spot where you could have a little rec room, throw a couch in here, throw a foosball table, or black out those windows, put a flat screen right there, you can make a theater room. Or we have water and drain over here, could turn this into like a big wet bar area, incorporate that beam, could make this very, very nice. Definitely gets the mind wandering. Utility room here. Washing machine goes on the left, and this is why I'm saying we have water right there, drain right there, and right there's the wall of the basement. So if you wanted to put a bar area over here, you could definitely do that. Uh, these doors, these aren't closets, that's a panel box right there, so that's just cover it, and that's the sump pump right there. Open shelf, so you can see what that is, and I believe that is the water main right there, that little access panel, so huge utility room here. This is where our furnace is located, our water heater is located. That water heater does not look very old, it does not look very old at all. And then storage, storage galore down here. So huge amount of storage area. This is just a fantastic basement. Next, 
I'll meet you upstairs for a few closing statements. So thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this home, or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm not sure they would be happy to show you this place. Home like this, in this condition, at this price, does not come along that often. So call before this is gone because this is one of those rare moments where you can get an awesome house at a great price and some of that is because of the time of year. All you have to do this home is move in and enjoy. Thanks for watching and I look forward to talking to you.